I 3D modeled this floating dragon shelf and somebody asked me how I created these holes in the back for the screws, so that's what this video is going to be about. After I finished my design inside of Nomad Sculpt, I added the holes in the back. This is the object that I made to make holes inside of my sculpt in Nomad Sculpt. I'm going to save you the trouble of having to 3D model this and I'm going to upload the STL file for this on this post in my Patreon so you can just download that and use that inside of Nomad Sculpt. So after you download this file, we're going to go back into Nomad Sculpt. We're going to go into this file icon on the top. Under the import menu, you're going to click import and click on wherever you have saved that file. And we're going to go ahead and open that file and just make sure that you click add to scene so you can add it to where your object is. Now, since we had all of our dimensions for the object, this is perfectly sized to fit normal sized screws. Just make sure you don't scale it up or down or it's not going to work properly. You'll have to scale your object to fit to this. So when you put this into your scene, it is probably going to be out of place. It is not directly in the center so you can click on the gizmo tool at the top and click move origin and that is going to put it directly in the middle of the world this is important to make sure we have spacing properly so we're going to move it back move it up and then if we turn on snapping to 90 degrees we can rotate it using the gizmo tool and we're going to place this facing this way here just so I can tell the difference between this and my sculpt, I'm going to go into the paintbrush icon and change the color of this to something just to make it more visible. Okay, we need two of these and we need them in symmetry. So what I'm going to do is I will go into my scene menu, click on add, and I am going to add a mirror repeater. Then I can click on my object and it's inside of a mirror so I can drag one over and they will be evenly spaced. Then just snapping to the side view, you're going to look and you're going to get this all the way pushed back as much as you can without putting it all the way behind the surface of the model. Once you have that there, you'll have to go into your scene menu, go into that mirror that you just made, and you're going to validate that while joining the children. Now we can make our mirror invisible to use it as a Boolean function, and we're going to select our main object we're trying to cut a hole into and we will go into the boolean feature right here and just click boolean. It's going to use that shape that's invisible to cut a hole into the shape that is visible. And you can see the way that this is. If I change the color to white, maybe we'll be able to see it better. You can see that the screw will be able to slide in here and there's a channel for the stem of the screw to go up here. And then the screw head sits behind this wall so that you can hang it onto a wall. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys need anything else, please just let me know and I will try to make a video about it as soon as I can.